What's going on YouTube? My Larks is today. We're back for another player review. This time on Ibrahim Sangari's Tots card here. Now looking at it, it's an absolute beast. He had a he had a headliners card which was absolutely unbelievable. Six foot three, medium height, three star skill moves, four star weak foot. It's looking like an absolute beast. Cost me 70k, so it's not the most expensive card in the era Divisi Tots team. So let's have a look at his attribute details. So he's got 85 pace, 89 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. I more than likely will put a shadow on him. The rest of the card he already looks like a bit of a beast. Obviously, shooting is half decent, 93 shot power, 82 long shot. So again, obviously, if he does fall to him in the box, the shot power should make the ball go in the back of the net. His passing is decent as well, 91 short pass, 87 long pass, 80 curve. Again, which is good enough, to be fair. He's more of a defensive midfielder, as you can tell by looking at his stats. His dribbling is decent, 80 agility, 88 balance, 91 reactions, 88 ball control, 94 composure. The only thing that might let him down is the agility. You might want to put an engine on him, maybe. But because of the sprint speed, you probably are going to need a shadow on him to max it up to 90s. Most tots cards now are going to have like 90 plus pace. So to be honest with you, to keep him up to date, keep him up with all the cards in the game, you're probably going to need to put a shadow on him. Now defensively, the guy is an absolute beast. 99 interceptions, 93 defense awareness, 94 stand tackle. This is why I'd say put a shadow on, max all their attributes out. Physically, again, absolute beast. 98 stamina, 99 strength, 91 aggression, 88 jumping. So to be honest with you, you probably could... Go and put something else on him. But personally, I just think that the best thing for him would definitely, definitely be a shadow just to get that pace up to a top standard, obviously. Because then he would have 91 sprint speed. So that would be the main thing, really. The main chemistry style I would put on him. Looking at the player traits, got the power free kick and long passer. So again, good for a midfielder. We will try him as a, in, in a midfield three and a midfield two. So the 4 3 3 and a 4 4 2. I feel like his best position is going to be as a. As a defensive midfield obviously he's got the work rates he's got the defensive abilities he's got the physical abilities i don't really see him doing too much attacking wise but we'll try him out and see what he's like in game let's play a few games of rivals and let's see how we get on oh it's a great ball by sangari look at that straight to anthony okay what a ball what a ball from sangari what a tackle that is by sangari an absolute beast what a ball that is. Sungari, what is he doing in the box? I'm not sure what he's doing in the box, but he's got himself a goal. It's a good bit of play by Sungari. Just a little bit of left stick dribbling. A little bit of skill with him as well. Sungari, wow. That's how good the long range shooting is with this guy. It's a great tackle. We see how he's just taken the ball and put the man on the floor. This guy is a beast. Nice bit of dribbling as well. Won't overcomplicate it though. Great pass. Ronaldo. There we go. Great tackle, Sangara. See the defensive AI and again, just always in the right place. It's a nice bit of skill. What a ball that is. Picks that Cantona on the counter attack. Oh. Great drive. Sungari. On the weak foot. I just couldn't get away from the keeper. Time and space. Oh, he's hit the post. All the time in the world. No one pressed him. Yeah, an inter interception there by Sangari. See him dropping back with a medium high work rate. Stopping to at least have a nice shot from outside the box. Sangari chasing Doku down. There we go. Wins the ball back. It's a nice pace upgrade. Again, Sangari just seems to be everywhere on the pitch. Cleaning up. There we go. Nice. Great pass out wide. Look at that. Gets away from Taliso. So as you see from the gameplay, the guy is an absolute beast. You know, as soon as he runs into somebody, takes the ball and takes the man out of the game. He is an absolute beast. What a card this is. 
Now, for someone with it, he's got the perfect body type as well for a central midfield player in this game, the high and average body type. So, again, he's going to be a little bit clunky in game. But for me, I didn't think he was that bad. He turned pretty smoothly. Obviously, like I said, he's not going to turn as quick as someone with a lean body type. But, again, it was very, very good to use in game. The Shadow was the best chemistry style with him, without a doubt, to be honest with you. Like I said, it was able just to keep him up with the other cards. Obviously, with tops now, most cards are going to have 90-plus pace. So, you don't really want him getting left behind. Again, shooting was good as well. Obviously, scored a long-range shot with him. And again, hit the post. Passing's good as well. There's quite a few nice passes. The only thing that does let his passing down is the curve. Dribbling-wise, again, agility does let him down a little bit. But he makes up for it defensively and physically. His interceptions, like I said, he's always in the right positions. His defensive AI is an absolute joke. Because of the 99 interceptions, he's just always reading the ball. Always just in front of the strikers. So, for me, like I said, he's intercepting them balls. Physically, he's a beast as well. I think his best position, obviously, as well, obviously, is as a holding midfielder, defensive midfielder. I wouldn't really play him as a box-to-box -box just because I don't think his shooting's good enough, really, and his agility to turn and get shots away isn't good enough. But, like I said, as a defensive midfielder, or maybe you might want to play him as a centre-back in a back three. Maybe you might want to try that out. I don't know. But I, I personally just think as a defensive midfielder, this guy is an absolute animal on the game, by the way. Like I said, defensively, beast, physically beast. You've only got to look at his stats to know that. Again, the shadow is definitely needed because it gives him that 91 sprint speed, maximizes that his acceleration as well. So yeah, that's exactly what I do. He's going to be a little bit hard to link in. Obviously, he plays for PSV. There's a few good options that play for PSV where you could get him on 10 chem. Obviously, he's uh, from Ivory Coast. So again, unless you've got like moments drop bar or drop bar in general, he's not going to be the easiest card to link in. Obviously, there is a few nice uh, Eredivisie Tots cards, but obviously none that are really PSV that will get him in on 10 chem. So, again, not the easiest card, but again, he is an absolute beast to have in your team. Now, if I'm going to give this guy a rating out of 10, I'm going to give him a 9. For the fact that he's cost me 70k, and you look at his defensive stats, physical stats, even if you get this guy in your red picks, off the bench, you know, if, if you're winning 1 or 2-0 and you need to hold down a lead, this guy will come on and be an absolute beast. Just sitting in front of your, like your back 4, back 5, whatever defending you play. Like I said, defensively, physically, he's a beast. Put a shadow on him, maximise his, his acceleration out and get his pace into the 90s. Passing's good enough for me. Dribbling, again, agility isn't great, but there's not too many holding midfielders that have got his physical build, like the high and average body typing game, and have the defending and physical stats to match it. So, again, the guy is an absolute beast. And if you can fit this guy in your team, then, yeah, you're going to be very happy. But, yeah, 9 out of 10 for Sangari. It's an absolute beast of a card. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you're looking to make more coins on FIFA without spending any money on the game, looking for general FIFA chat, or looking for ways to improve your team, but you're not too sure how, join my FIFA trader server group. The link is in the description below. It's free to join. It's on Discord. Like I said, we've got traders in there that know what they're doing to make you earn more coins on this game. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.